one. There's one. What's going on everyone? So, as you can tell, in the truck right now, not on the boat, got my kayak in the back, I'm about to go launch it, and honestly do one of my favorite types of fishing. Gonna catch some really big fish under some bridges, hopefully. Got one blue crab that I caught that I'm gonna be using as bait. For right now, gotta get the kayak in the water, and I'll meet you guys under the bridge. Out here under the bridge, it's gonna be a lot of uh, car noise, so I apologize for that in advance. I don't think you guys realize how excited I am right now for this. So I was able to catch one blue crab to use as bait here, and really that gives me four different baits. You can cut the crab in half and then use each claw. So let me grab them right quick. So here's our bait right here, big old blue crab. It's a male, you can tell by the, I think they're called, it's called an apron or something. I'll look it up or whatever, but this is a male right here, big male, and He's gonna be a perfect bait for these fish. Let me show you the rig and everything we're gonna use and then we'll drop them down. So this is the setup we're gonna be using today. This is my Truth SG reel. Uh, the company goes by Siegler Reels now. This is an older model, I've had this for a couple years now. It's perfect, there's a ton of drag on there, got 40 pound braid. It will really horse these fish out of here because you'll see it's combat fishing for sure. This is a St. Croix Mojo Salt 6.6 uh, six medium heavy rod. So a very stout rod. Heavy line, heavy heavy drag, everything goes. You're gonna be ripping these fish out of here. The rig I'm using is a five, either a five or a six oh, I'm not really sure. I just kind of found this thing at the bottom of my tack box. But either a five or a six oh circle look right here with a little bead and it's a knocker rig with like a half ounce, a quarter, half ounce, whatever weight. It's about six, seven feet deep here on high tide. So you just want it sitting on the bottom. And now I have about a, four foot section of 40 pound mono leader. We're probably gonna lose some fish today. There's a lot of oysters on these pilings. They like to wrap you up and everything. I'm expecting to lose some fish. These are big fish, but I've caught them on this gear in the past. So let's see if we can do it again. So there we go. That's half a blue crab right there. You just kind of wiggle the hook through the, the bottom of the shell right there. So it's exposed nice, nicely. And that will put out a lot of scent in the water. And that's a big bait. So. Let's drop it down, see if we can get some bridge beast. So this is the first time I've ever brought a net. I don't know if this is gonna be big enough, so it's gonna be kinda kinda fun to see me try and net a big, big fish with this, but should help me out a little bit. Make sure your drag is tight. You want it to be like, not even be able to like pull it out. Like that's tight. There we go. I'm just gonna drop it right in between these pilings down there. Drop it down to the bottom. And we wanna, as soon as we get bit, we wanna pull them out into the open water. You'll feel little uh, little pecks from like spade fish and uh, pin fish and stuff down there pecking away at it, but trust me, you'll know when you get, get a big bite. Honestly, if I could get like a little like 15 pounder to warm up on, that'd be great. All right, I'm gonna hop across to the, the other piling. The things I do for big fish. There we go. I wanna try and get to that one. Just in case I do hook one in there, I can bring it out to like the open over there, more so than here. Oh. Spade fish are right here. They're like on the surface going after it. I want to see if you guys can see that. Look at them. Look at them. They're just like angel fish. They're cool looking, but they're annoying when you're trying to catch big fish. Honestly, give this one, this set of pilings, like five more minutes. Then I'll hop in the kayak and hop over to the next one. Here we go. A lot of people ask me in the, the other videos I've done doing this, like why I get out of the kayak. The main reason is so I can get like a lot of leverage on the fish. You get a lot more power, 
you can control the fish a lot better when you're on like dry land. Let's try a claw. Can't tell if that's like, that's a fish. That's one, there's one, there's one. Come here, dude. Oh, ho, ho. yep, he's going the right way too. There we go. Back off the drag a little bit if he wants to go that way. Oh yeah, he thumped the crap out of that claw. Not a monster, probably like 25 pounds. Come here, dude. That claw was down there for a while. He's taking drag. No, he came off. How did he just come off? Oh man, I don't know how he came off. Hook's not bent or anything. Dang it. Dang it. All right. Well, that's what we're after. Big black drum. I don't know how that guy pulled off. The hook's sharp. It's not bent at all. It just came off. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next set. All right. Try this one. Still got the claw and half a crab. I'm actually gonna put the half on. Fish with that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. That's a good one. That's a good one. This way, this way. Come on. Come on. That's a good one. There he goes. Woo. That's a good one. He's down the middle now. Gotta keep them away from the pilings. Yeah, that's a nice one. Come on. Ah, come on. Come here, dude. Please stop. That's at least 30 pounds right there. Yeah, go that way. Let's get you out in the middle. There you go. Come on. There's no way he's been in the net. Not this one. Come here. Put that half on and he thumped it. Come on up. There he is. There's our beast. Oh, I love these guys. Come here, dude. They have like spots like on their body. Like redfish have on their tails. It's weird. He's got a remora on him too. He's working me on this. Come on. Get up. Get up. Come on up. There he is. That one's a beast. It's around the corner of the mouth. Okay, you done? That's a big ugly right there. Let's 
Come on up, dude. That is a beast of a black drum. There we go, hooks out. You are thick. All right. So that is a big black drum right there. He's probably 30, 35 pounds. Eight, half a blue crab right there. Oh, here you go. He's gotta take your time with him. This is a beast of a drum. All right, starting to kick. Starting to kick. There he goes. Oh my God, yes. I'm tired. That thing absolutely beat the crap out of me. And he kicked off strong there at the end. That was the most important thing. That was, that was a big fish. That was a big drum. I'm saying between 30 and 30 and 35 pounds around there. Half a blue crab right there just thumped the crap out of it. Had to horse them out of there. Now you see why we have to use conventional reels and stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.